Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about the Salesforce pane in the element settings. All right, so we are at our demo project here and let's take a look at some fields. So uh, let me just move into the product catalog page. And if I'll click on an element, let's say an image in this instance, I'll head over to the Salesforce pane, I can immediately see where it's being used. In this instance, it's being used in a get, and if we, if it was being used in a push, it will show up in here as well. So from here, you can click configure and go to that get. In this instance, automatically, you can take a look at the mapping, and you can uh, correct or add whatever it is you need correcting or adding. So let's see map fields, and we can see that it is indeed mapped um, into our get. And you will see this with any um, input field, image fields, file uploads, whatever you can connect to Salesforce either to a get or a push, you'll be able to see it from directly from here. And also from here, you have easy access to get into the Salesforce configuration as well. Okay, so let's see a push instance. So let me just head back to, um, let's go back to my homepage. And I don't want to save any changes. And let's say I'll add a new input field here. So let's just say a simple text field. And we will call this, um, let's give it a tag. Perfect. And if we'll take a look at the Salesforce, we can see nothing is mapped. I'll click configure Salesforce integration and I'll go to a push and let's say in the lead push I'll map this to let's say title of of the lead so we're gonna we did text to push we'll map it right over there we'll hit apply close and you can immediately see that it's being used in a push and I can add it to a get as well. And obviously this doesn't make any sense since it's two different objects. I'm just trying to show you how this will behave. So from here, you can really debug and see if you're uh, mapping it multiple times or you're pushing it or you're mapping it for, from very, very helpful. So let's say I'll map from this um, get, I'll map our text. So let's say, we're gonna say text to push and we'll map it, we'll map the product ID. And we'll hit close. And now we can see it's being used once in a push, once in a get. And obviously if it will be used in multiple pushes and multiple gets, everything will show up here and you'll be able to go ahead and configure it immediately from there. And this is how it's done.